Well, hello everybody. Welcome to this week's reflection. And yes, I was on holiday, so uh, it's been a while, a couple of weeks since I last saw you. It's a bit windy today, so I'm not quite sure how we're gonna go as well. So anyway, we'll give it a crack and go from there. I hope that uh, your summer is going okay, uh, wherever you might be, or a big shout out to all those uh, in the Northern Hemisphere as you try and find some warmth from the cold and all that kind of stuff. This week's gospel is uh, fantastic. I love, I love the gospel of Mark. And as soon as you hear the word Sabbath, you, the ears have to be pricked up. And then when you hear the words Jesus, or Sabbath and Jesus together, oh, it means we've got a real story. A real conflict story, you could say. And there are lots of things about this reading this week that uh, probably need to be explained, but that's going to take way too long. <laughs> Mark is, is so, uh, br in a sense, brief in his writings, and yet they're so packed with uh, meaning and by no means are they uh, simple, in a sense, stories. One of the foundations of Mark's Gospel is that the, he names the reality of genuine evil in the world. And genuine evil seeks to destroy and to destruct. There's no other way to describe, to, to describe it. At the other end of the scale is absolute goodness. Uh, uh, purity, God's peace, God's light, God's life, God's love. And so, uh, all, most of Mark's stories wrestle with this reality of good versus evil. And etc, etc. We, 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 we go on a long way. At the end of the day, and I guess profoundly, what Mark starts to describe in his gospel through this passage, and I invite you to read it during the week, I'll give you the reference below, is that Jesus becomes the human bridge between destruction and life, between the darkness and chaos of the world and God's peace. The things that need to be confronted, called out, stopped, to create a, a safe, meaningful, peaceful place, both on, in the world and in our own lives. There are two ways that Mark suggests. The first is that this evil or destruction needs to be called out. The second is prayer. Prayer is not an absence of the stuff that life throws at us. The, the, the prayer that becomes peaceful is not, the, is not avoiding, in a sense, the world, but actually wrestling deeply with those issues that we are confronted with. And so these two realities of calling out evil and casting them out is one of Jesus' main roles. And then he shows us that prayer, this idea of struggling with the reality of life as it is, is actually where God meets us, one of the places where God meets us in our lives. So this week, as followers of Jesus, I invite us to be a human bridge between destruction and life, between darkness and light, with those people we encounter, with those people we live with, and with those situations that we're dealing with in, in 
our daily lives, whether it's school or work, somewhere on the street, or just in our own heart. I wish you well and look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now.